Hello, and welcome to the video on the fascinating world of the photoelectric effect. In this video, we'll unlock the secrets behind this mind-blowing phenomenon and discover how it revolutionized our understanding of light. The photoelectric effect occurs when light of a suitable frequency, or energy, is shown onto a metal surface. When this happens, electrons are ejected from the surface. These ejected electrons are called photoelectrons. Modern physics suggests that light is made up of tiny particles called photons. They collide with electrons in the metal surface and transfer their energy to the electrons within the metal. The amount of energy required to eject the electrons from the metal surface is known as the work function. If the energy of the photons is sufficient to overcome the work function of the metal, electrons are ejected from the surface. To measure the photoelectric effect, we set up a circuit where the metal surface is connected to the negative terminal of a battery. We also connect an ammeter in series to measure the resulting photoelectric current, which indicates the flow of ejected electrons. It's important to note that the photoelectric effect depends on two main factors, the frequency and intensity of the incident light. Frequency refers to the color of light, while intensity refers to its brightness or the number of photons per unit area per unit time. If the frequency of the incident light is below a certain value, no photoelectric effect occurs, even with high intensity light. Once the frequency of the incident light equals or exceeds the cutoff value, electrons are ejected without any delay, even with low intensity light. This specific frequency is known as the cutoff or threshold frequency, and its precise value varies depending on the type of material involved. Increasing the frequency of light increases the kinetic energy of the ejected electrons. Additionally, above the threshold frequency, increasing the intensity of light results in a higher number of ejected electrons or a greater photoelectric current. When an incident photon interacts with the metal surface, part of its energy is consumed as the work function, while the remaining energy appears as the kinetic energy of the ejected photoelectrons. By reversing the polarities of the applied voltage and increasing its value, we can determine the stopping potential. The stopping potential is the voltage at which the photoelectric current is completely stopped. The photoelectric effect provides strong experimental evidence for the particle nature of light. It contradicts classical wave theory, which suggests that the photoelectric effect occurs at all frequencies and the kinetic energy of the photoelectrons depend on the intensity of light. If the frequency is below the threshold value, increasing the intensity of light over time may eventually eject electrons. However, in reality, the photoelectric effect depends on the frequency of the incident light. If the frequency is above the threshold, even very low intensity light can immediately cause the ejection of photoelectrons. In summary, the photoelectric effect demonstrates that light exhibits particle-like properties. The frequency and intensity of light impact the kinetic energy and number of the ejected electrons. We hope this video has deepened your understanding of this fascinating phenomenon and its implications for our understanding of light. Thank you for watching.